pseudonautics. The study of fake space exploration. Episode 2. Bizarre Apollo 17 Photoshopping. In the previous episode, we examined unexplained reflective artifacts in the Apollo 17 sky. In this episode, we'll examine an interesting case of NASA photoshopping. Here is a famous picture from Apollo 17. A magnificent composition where Smith is allegedly shown against the darkness of space on the moon next to the United States flag pointing to planet Earth. The picture has ID AS17134-2038-4 and can be found on NASA's Green site at green.hq.nasa.gov. The Green site proposes images of significant historical interest scanned at high resolution. Here is the caption of the picture on the green site. Geologist astronaut Harrison Schmidt, Apollo 17 lunar module pilot, is photographed next to the American flag during EVA of NASA's final lunar landing mission in the Apollo series. The photo was taken at the Taurus Littrow landing site. The highest part of the flag appears to point toward our planet, Earth, in the distant background. There isn't any kind of warning on the site telling the user that the pictures might have been altered. The user of the green site, therefore, expects unaltered scans of original pictures, save for common things like global brightness level or color adjustments. However, the green version of that picture has, in fact, been heavily edited. The editing can be seen by pushing the gamma curve. The strange black zone around the astronaut is made of pixels of a digitally perfect black at 0, 0, 0 levels. Clearly, this picture has been digitally edited. Let's try to understand how and why. First, do we have the same editing on other versions of this picture? Other well-known sites with Apollo pictures include history.nasa.gov, apolloarchive.com, lpi.usra.edu. Here is the version from history.nasa.gov or apolloarchive.com. It differs from the green version. As you can see, areas on the green version have been darkened, making the shadow on the astronaut's torso and shoulder pitch black. Also, the reflected image of the other astronaut in the visor disappears. After registration, we can compute the difference between the two images and display the result in false color. The two images don't have exactly the same color levels, so some non-significant difference appear as dark red or yellow. The shadow darkening appears in the large green cyan region. Actually, we can see at least two distinct editing zones, zone 1 and zone 2. Here we see Zone 1 overlaid on the history.nasa.gov version. Zone 1 has been extra darkened to make the reflected astronaut in the visor disappear. Why would NASA erase the reflection of Commander Eugene Cernan taking the picture? It might be argued that the reflection is not very aesthetic. Still, that's not very respectful for Cernan. Zone 2 has been contrast enhanced to make the shadows blacker and has been desaturated. In other words, it had color information removed. Look at the blue-red NASA insignia on the astronaut's right shoulder. This is the history version and this is the green version. By zooming, we clearly see that the colors are gone. If the edits were made for aesthetic reasons, why would NASA wash out the colors of its own logo in a press-targeted collection of photographs? Note the superb composition of the picture with the alignment of the flag and the earth. Could it be that the flag was moved on the original film to make the picture prettier? In that case, there could be an inconsistency with the reflected image in the visor. Or maybe the position of the astronaut in the visor is inconsistent with terrain and the angle the picture was taken from. <laughs> 